Hello guys, it is X Pretty X here, also known as the OG Clan or the Pret OG, whatever you're gonna call me. But that's my, my names. Okay, so in this video, as promised, I said I'm gonna make an application, or actually crack an application that will allow you to um, play games using your PlayStation or Xbox controller on your Mac. So an example of this is if I have my as you see on Bluetooth, I have my PlayStation controller already connected. If you don't know how to do this, then there's other tutorials around YouTube that will teach you how to do it easily. But if you, but I'm sure you're experienced enough to actually uh, get this paired up. Make sure you set it as your favorites, because you don't want it to keep on uh, um, showing the passcode screen, which is annoying. Okay, so the program in which allows you to play your games using the functions on your PlayStation 3 remote or Xbox, whatever you have, PSB, is Joystick Mapper. Now this costs money on the App Store, um, but uh, a cracked version should be in the description, we can get it for free, because I'm, I'm good guys, I do that, I'm a free person. Okay, so, here is an example of a game that I got off Steam, which is called Ace of Spades, but your one won't have this, obviously, because you don't you probably won't have this game or if you do then send me your steam friend thingy <laughs> I just got steam yesterday <laughs> but yeah let me add a new preset and this is basically what you need to do when you click add preset you just wanna click add new joystick and it should really identify a joystick so mine says PlayStation 3 controller blah 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 and then you're gonna click add new bind now you can wait before you actually do this you can rename it to whatever game you're using Say I'm using Minecraft or something, which I don't even have. But say I'm using it. Just call it PS3 controller. Okay, so we're gonna click Add New Bind. Now it didn't come top. Okay, then you uh, reach this sort of thing. Um, with this, it's pretty simple. Basically, what you know, what you want to do is that you don't know what this is. This is all gibberish to you, probably but they actually count in the PlayStation 3 control. You don't need to mess around with that because all you need to do is go over on the scan. Yeah, it will say scan for joystick and forward. Just click that. Make sure your PSP control is connected. Okay, when you click that, just press a button, any button you want to press that you want to configure. So say I want to walk forward. I want to put the analog stick, the left analog stick forward to walk forward. So it says input received, and when it says when it says that hashtag one, that's probably uh, everyone's the same on that. It should be hashtag one, but you don't. It doesn't need to be hashtag one. It could be anything you want, but for default it should be hashtag one. Okay, and then what you want to do is that already recognize that you're using an axis, which is the analog stick, obviously, because that's an axis if you know maths. Um, Walking forward in Minecraft is W d on default, so we're going to do that. W. And some people will uh, find it hard to do the mouse, like make the mouse move um, with the right joystick, so I'm going to teach you that now because I think this is basically simple. Um, before I get on to doing the mouse thing, let me just show another example of a button such as X, which is the jump. So let's scan for a joystick input. My one freezes here, I don't think your one will freeze, but I think it's just my computer that does it. It freezes when I click scan, but then it works some at the end. Okay, so we got X. Now X is in Minecraft. X on normal PS3 is normally to jump on stuff, so in Minecraft is space, so we just click space over here. That's pretty simple. And then this is how you create the mouse movement. So basically what you can do, you can click scan. <sighs> Kick scan, come on. You're gonna work. Okay, so then right analog stick, just move it forward. So that shows that you're moving north with your analog stick or across the y axis. Then instead of keyboard key, go down to mouse motion and click up. And you can set it to whatever speed you want. Um, I recommend uh, 25. Or 20 between 20 and 25 let me do 20 yeah and then you just do this 
the same way so do it again scan it this time I'm going to do uh, down so I'll move my right analog stick down when I received the thing okay I moved it down it said input received I moved it down okay so we're going to have mouse motion we're going to say down and we're just going to move it to 20 oops that's 19 isn't it Oh my god. <laughs> ah, there we are. Sorry, my mouse, my actual mouse is a bit fucked up. And sorry, I swore. <laughs> um, okay, let's scan again. And this time I'm going to do left. So we're going to move left on the right hand look stick. Ah, oh, I hate this freezing thing. Sometimes it freezes when I have to do this. When I input it, then I have to do like restart the application but it saves so don't worry if that happens to you okay so oh sorry uh mouse motion yeah left because i moved it left see it's pretty simple um i know i've made another video about controller mate and stuff like that but this is something new and something so easy and so simple that anyone can actually do it and it works amazingly And then last one to do is the right, so we're just gonna move it right when that's when that um, thing pop up. Okay, yeah, I moved it right. Okay, mouse motion right. Okay, so that's basically that. Just remember to just copy this on whatever buttons you have. Just uh, assign them to whether if it's a mouse click, then you just click a mouse button, um, etc. If it's a mouse wheel like changing weapons on ace of spades that's a mouse wheel then you can just click mouse wheel or something like that it'll be pretty simple mouse wheel up mouse wheel down mouse button left mouse button right or primary button secondary button primary is left secondary is right and <laughs> that's all there is to it okay after you've done that all you need to do is you just exit that and it should be saved here now you may realize that when you exit it and you try to move a PlayStation with controller, nothing happens. It's not working. You're doing because because the basic thing is you didn't uh, tick it. And this was, this is what happened to me. I thought the application was stupid. It didn't work. Whereas you're supposed to click the tick over here. Use this preset. You're supposed to click it, and then it should load. You see, I've lots of freezing problems with the application, but it should get there eventually. Okay, so once it's ticked, all you gotta do is minimize it, and your PlayStation 3 controller, which I'm using the right analog stick, if you can't believe me, um, well, you gotta believe me, come on. Okay, I'm using it, and I'll show you. Okay, let me just um, go back on Joystick Mapper. Uh, yeah, let me just go back on it, and let me mouse gun weird. Let me just tick this preset. I don't know if this will record my game. If it doesn't record game then it's just gonna be a black screen which I hope doesn't happen because my first time using this recording application. But it should not do that. Okay so we're just gonna go on Ace of Spades. Let's see it's loading blah blah blah. You should get this game. It's only ten pounds. I don't know how much dollars it is though. Okay. Uh, so it's working. This mouse over here, I can use my PlayStation Vita controller. It's actually working. Okay. So let's go to public match. Let's go TDM. Let's start this game. Okay. Uh, let's just join blue team. Uh, I like sniping, but I'm really shit at it. So. Yeah, it's quite good. My graphics card is a bit weird. It doesn't. I need. It needs updating a lot. But hey, I think it's me lagging or something actually, rather than the graphics. Okay, I just died. <laughs> but 
um, I can show you that it works after I respawn. I mean, I'm clicking the start button right now. I'm changing my class to uh, engineer. Just select that. Something happened. Do you not respawn? Okay. Let me join another match. Join Dragon Island or something. Oh, Luna Base. Okay, welcome to the moon. Okay. So this is what it is. I can use the L1 to aim and fire. So yeah, this is basically Minecraft, but you get Minecraft Call of Duty sort of stuff. Oops, there's a guy there. Oh. Okay, I, oh, I distracted him. He's dead, he's dead. Okay. Is that guy? Oh, he's sat and died. I'm really crap at this game, um, but trust me, it works. I'm just gonna disconnect now. Quit it. Okay, so you see it works. Um, <laughs> yeah, everything's working. And yeah, just rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you found this uh, tutorial. Uh, interesting and I hope you succeeded and if you didn't just message me in the comments or message me as in my YouTube just message me personally for any issues and I'll try and rectify that for you okay peace How do you stop this? Is it? No.